Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to do a quick beginner's tutorial to how to download and install mods on Euro Truck Simulator 2 for PC. Now don't worry, it is incredibly easy and very well implemented, but there's two main ways. There's Steam mods and there's mods that aren't on Steam. So if you want to um, have a crack with the Steam mods, what you want to do is you want to fire up Steam, you want to go to your community tab, go down to workshop, and then in the workshop, just just search for Euro Truck, and it will come up Euro Truck Simulator 2, and that will come down. And then you probably want to browse items, and then most subscribed. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so most subscribed. And you can look through, and you can see, you know, wh which ones you want to have a go at. Make sure that whenever you go into the mod, have a really good look. <coughs> Excuse me. In the description below the video it will tell you um, various instructions on how to modify the mod how to configure the mod any problems you might have or maybe even if the mod doesn't work anymore so to get that all you do is click subscribe and i'm going to show you how to activate it in a second but first we're going to look at outside of steam mods so what might happen is you may well be looking through a uh, an article on the web you know what what are the best mods for euro truck simulator and you may get to something like this and you'll click on the link and it won't take you to steam it'll take you to a third party site now be careful you only want to download the third party ones from sites you trust and from websites you trust but for example the ai traffic pack by jazzy cat which adds loads and loads and loads of different vehicles when you go to download it it'll take you to another site now what happens with these is when you click on how to download it and it will start downloading it it will download it to your downloads folder funnily enough on your computer but that's not where it must live where it has to live is actually inside your documents folder on your computer so probably under uh, hard to see documents you'll find a euro truck simulator folder and inside there you will find a mod folder now this might not be on the same hard drive you've got Euro Truck Simulator 2 installed on for example I've got it installed on my D drive um, but the uh, Euro Truck Simulator kind of where it stores all the I guess the configuration stuff and the mods is on the C drive and here you can see this is where you unpack and you paste the mod you don't need any of the read means or anything like that C keep that out of the way and that's where you put those now once you've done this and you've downloaded the Steam mod and you download your outside of Steam mods, to actually activate them you go into the mod manager here. So you click on this and you go into the Steam, uh, the mod manager here. And what it'll tell you here is whether the mod is active or not and whether it's compatible or not. So for example realistic graphics mod is incompatible now and the uh, publisher franken64 has said look since euro truck simulator has been updated the mod doesn't really have a, a purpose anymore he may well update it at some point but he's, he's left it at that and then what you want to do is when you want to um activate a mod in fact let me let me deactivate a mod so we can say so so for example this real traffic density by uh, cip you click on it and you click on the little arrow here and that will take it over to this side now it could be that um, mods have to be loaded in a particular order and this it will tell you this in the description below the video and so what you can do is you can click on decrease priority or increase priority down the bottom um, I haven't come across a problem with anything like that but certainly certain map mods uh, you need to make sure you load them in the right order again it will say in the description of the mod on Steam or on the website that will tell you how to do that um, and once you've got them to where you want them confirm changes and then you just jump into the game and the mods will be there how easy is that now there is one caveat to that is some mods will need configuring but when they need configuring and they need changing it will tell you in the description on steam or on the third party website and you can follow those instructions per the mod okay so hopefully you found that video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe i will of course see you again soon